All right, ladies and gents, at the end of the last video, I said we were going to head out to go try to find Life Pod 7. So let's go do that. I think it said it was one kilometer off the stern of the Aurora. Also, someone, I want to apologize. I did not, for, for whatever reason, I was not getting any comments on videos. I just thought people were not commenting. But it turns out I had the settings set to not to not work not not to, to hold them and someone mentioned in the comments that I could repair this while docked but I had to point at a particular oh there we go that was oh there we go we got it okay so, uh, but at any rate, I went through and made all the comments Welcome public and, com uh, you know, responded to the ones that I could, which I think was all of them. I think I actually responded to all of them. So if you made a comment and I never responded to you, it was not because I was ignoring you, it was because I'm a moron and didn't know they were turned off. All right, let's refresh my memory on where I was going. <clears throat> I don't remember. I remember it was seven. All right, so 200 meters in the area of low ecological activity, transmission origin, approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern. All right, so here's the Aurora. That's the stern. And I am now going southeast. Which means... We'll just head up here a little till we get behind it. It's only 200 meters. It's not that deep, according to the clues. So it'd be. Let's go down as we head towards. Well, there's a piece of wreckage we have not seen before already. And I want to go up again just to confirm where the rear end is in relation to that all right so it's just about okay just about there let's head down i'm just listening to see what noises are around trying to be aware of the environment now the problem is I don't know how to I suppose I could I was gonna say I don't know how to accurately you know I've got a compass but I don't have a dist you know some kind of a distance meter but I think I could probably drop something do I have a beacon no 
drop something and then just move away about a kilometer from it. But this is this is definitely a crash. Uh, I mean, a wreckage area. And we're not. This is only about 100 feet. So let's move over further right. Even though... What is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wasn't fully rendered, I think. Okay, this is 100. 200 is the... Where it said... Oh, you know what? I just remembered. Let me try something here. I just remembered that Seamoth. Uh, okay, there we go. You know, I remembered that I had that <clears throat> and that I had pressed one and it showed it being activated, but it didn't do anything. So I told myself this time I would try pressing the mouse keys. The right mouse key does nothing but turn the lights off and all. But if you hold the left mouse key, it actually generates a charge. That's helpful to know, I believe. Let me keep that activated. Well, I can turn it off for now, I think. And activate it when I need to. I just don't know if just the act of turning it on drains the battery or not. All right, 200 meters. We still got to go deeper. Life pod seven. Oh, it's getting dark. All right, where is? Up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, time to move. Is gonna follow me. Well, he's persistent. I'll give him that. All right, there we go. But I've got to get deeper, I believe. Because it did say 200 meters, didn't it? Yeah, sunk to 200 meters. In an area of low ecological activity. Woohoo! Okay, well, there's one chomp. Got to get to where I can repair this thing. All right, I think... Let's turn this on and see if this will stun them or knock them away. Well, actually, let me go up. This should be... I should be pointing at the stern of the Aurora right here. Let me just verify that. More or less. All right. <clears throat> One kilometer southwest. All right. Northwest, southwest. All right, let's go straight down. And slowly work our way towards the Aurora. I don't know... I don't know what uh, direction, what distance I'm at. But I do know what depth I'm at. And this said 200 meters, approximately 200 meters. So let's keep moving. There's a stalker way down here. I think this is the deepest I've ever seen a, a stalker. It's an area of low ecological activity. And notice that there's not a lot of vegetation down here. 
Okay, we're about 200 feet right now. The aurora should be right there in that direction. And this would be southwest. Let's just explore a little bit down here. Yeah, see this color of this water is the color and the sound is what I... I remember being from the... being around the aurora. Okay, now... I'm listening and I hear that... what I call screaming again. I think it's coming from that direction, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm just going to creep around here a little bit. I do believe it's that direction right there, kind of north, north, northeast of me. Almost sounds sounds like it's from that direction, but above me also. All right, I think I'm going to start heading. All right, that this would be the Aurora Stern. Should be right about in this direction. And I'm pretty sure I'm closer than a kilometer, so let's go this direction, southwest. The problem is it gets shallower than it said they were in about 200 meters. Let's see if we can... Well, at least it's quieter out here. I don't have that rumbling from the aurora. Look at that. Oh, is that blood? I think I blooded him. So it does repel these things. As far as I could tell, it, it went away. Now here's the thing. This is not really low ecological... I'm just kind of curtain disaster here, I know. Oh, he's not really doing any damage. But then again, I'm not really making any headway on where this thing might be. I think I'm getting too deep. Well, he certainly did damage. There you go, buddy. This is another. Nope, I've got to do a little repair. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now, please tell me where is Life Pod 7? <laughs> I guess I'm a little, the low ecological activity. Part is what's, what I'm thinking about. 
and that was more or less desert desert y looking earlier. What is that? Go away from me. I, f I didn't have the uh, I didn't have the power button on for my defense system. But what is that? I don't think I've seen anything that looks like that before. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at that and s see if I can repair. All at the same time. It's an engine fragment. One of three. That is what I was... Where's it at? Where's it at? Boy, they do 15% per hit. All right, there we go. So I need two more engine fragments. Well, even if I don't find the life pod right now, that was worth it, in my opinion. The problem is I'm still not deep enough. <laughs> I don't like going down into that black. As I think you know by now. I thought I did that, but I guess I didn't. Oh, there's... That looks like those glowing bulbs. So I'm not sure. I'm well beyond my depth range now. I should be up around two, 200. That should be the Aurora in that direction. Okay. I don't think I'm, I'm... Maybe I'm not in the right area. Maybe I de need to go back and get a beacon and drop it at the Aurora so I can know distance. Let me see about a beacon. I think it's, it's very easy to build a copper and a titanium. Let me go back and get a beacon so at least I'll know the distance I am from the Aurora so with that the distance from the Aurora and the depth maybe that'll help me Oh, wow, I was in the air for quite some time there. I couldn't turn. Okay. It is also possible. Now, I don't know if this is feasible, but I have yet not used those cameras. 
on the scanning scanner room. So I wonder. I think I'm done with that scanner room over there. I don't need it for anything else. And I wonder if I disassemble it. You remember, you get your you get all your in inventory back, all your parts back, and I run over there. I pinpoint, or not pinpoint, but I get close to the area where it's supposed to be, and I use the camera drones to move around. I wonder if that is viable. Probably will be very slow and very boring, but it seems like it might be a viable Welcome option. Aboard, I think it said the drones have a 300 meter range. All right, I needed a copper and a titanium. One titanium. One copper. All right. Uh, and before I do that, let me make sure I don't already have a beacon. Seems like at some point I did build some beacons. So I might have one lying around here. I don't see it. No. I guess I don't. All right, well, let's, let's build that beacon so I can get a distance from the Aurora. I think that's a deployable, right? Yeah. And I want to top up food again. Actually, before I top up food, let me make sure. Yeah, I was told in the comments that you can, it's, it is at 100%, that you can repair that, but it didn't work for me there. I'll have to read the comment again. And I want to, of course, replace my battery. Since I'm here. And this, uh, definitely make sure I've got the extra power cell on me and one in the uh, Seamoth because that charge is using a good amount of, I think that was, that one charge I did was just a tap and it used 7%, I believe. If I'm remembering, or remembering correctly. Get that replanted. Someone also mentioned something uh, about the bulb trees. I don't remember what it was though at this point. <laughs> I think it was a f that they were better than these marble melons. And I, I probably would tend to agree. Maybe I'll build another one of these. See, it's 8 and 10. It's a lot more... Although food is the primary because I've got, I've got plenty of water. 8 and 10. Let's look at this one. See, 12 and 14, that's actually better. I just think that Bobo... Bobo tree is easier to manage. Okay. Also, somebody said something about... Oh, yeah, a guy said... Uh, well, I say guy, I don't know. Uh, a comment was that if you just leave the stuff in that... Uh, water filtration plant it's effectively turning it off and I had responded asking well does that actually mean it doesn't draw power anymore so I'm waiting on waiting to see if uh, he, re he or she responds to that Welcome although at this point system. honestly at this point it doesn't matter if we got plenty of power it was it's just more of a curiosity right now than anything else <clears throat> where is the boy the I'm getting a lot of for whatever reason today, I'm getting a lot of... All right, let's head towards the Aurora. 
approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora. Oh boy, that that reef back is tiny. Must oh, there's the <laughs> there's the parent. Now I re I remember coming over here previously, very early, many many at videos ago and there was one of those screaming li uh i almost said lizard what i'm for now i'm just calling eel like things at the back here so this might be a little tricky i want to make sure that i can get close enough to drop the beacon but not so close that i trigger it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to listen. All right, already I hear it. Yeah, I would say coming from this direction right here. How close am I to the Aurora? Okay. Yeah, actually, I think I remember this is exactly where I was the last time. It's right over these rocks is where I, I saw it. And I think that's accurate. Oh, look, there's another piece of the... That's the engine module. Oh, no. Where is that thing at? Can I get over there? I'm going to try this. Okay, I don't see it yet. Let me see if I can drop the beacon. I think I'm close enough to the to the stern of the Aurora that this would be a good uh, reference point. Stern. Ah, that's good enough. I don't like my back being to that thing. <laughs> I was rushing there. Okay, now let's go approximately one kilometer southeast was it southwest southwest of the Aurora's stern section all right so there's the beacon we want to go southwest and descend down to where I can see the seafloor even though it says approximately 200 meters That's 250. We've got a ways to go yet. I'm just, as I'm traveling this area though, I'm, I may as well look for things while I'm here as I'm passing by. We definitely need to go deeper. Halfway there. <clears throat> this sort of looks like the area I was in earlier. Of course, I can't be certain, but it, I would... If I had to guess, and I do, I'd say this was the area I was in earlier. I seem to remember this exact scene right here. 
So I guess I wasn't too far off the off the right path. Yeah, buddy, I see you. Let me turn my defense on so I can let it go if I need to. Oh. Well. Low ecological activity, but this is a lot of activity going on here. So I'm not sure what they mean by that. And we're about the right depth. How far are we from that? Okay, almost, almost a kilometer. Keep going. Okay. I don't want to get too... See, I'm too deep now. You know that... I do recall this thing having a sonar upgrade. But I don't think it would help. Because I think it's... I think it's just for mapping purposes. If I remember what it said correctly. Like if you're in a cave. It would do the 3D mapping. Kind of like the... Uh, All right, so I'm a kilometer away from that thing now. But I'm too deep. Let's come up. I think that's... I think that's moon pool. That hatch. Although that hatch may be... I cannot remember, so I'm just going to take a look at it and see what it is. Cyclops engine fragment. Oh! That's what I need. That thing is shooting at me. I'm trying to dodge it. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. I thought that was a moon pool part. Is that it? Is that the Cyclops? Or do I need more? I can now build the Cyclops. At least I know what the parts are for it. Again, even if I don't find this life pod right now during this uh, video, that was well worth it because I can now build the Cyclops. Nine forty-one. I don't want to get any deeper. I mean, deeper than I was. I was at like at two hundred something, two fifty earlier, and I'm wary of that thing right there because I seem to recall that I encountered one earlier and he took me out. He took me out of my... and moved me elsewhere like a, like a transporter. I didn't like that. I don't... Look at these... I've got to be in the, close to the... I've got to be in... See, there's another engine piece, which I don't need now. That don't like that thing at all. Oh, he got me just as I fired my... Where is... Where is the Seamoth? There it is. Whoo! Oh, I've got my rifle, right? That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right. In the sea mouth we go. Just nothing else. Charge that air again. Oh, I thought that might have been this, the... 871. The thing is, they say they're 200, but... Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a piece of the, uh, boy, it took us time. It took us time rendering, didn't it? Look at this. I don't think I've seen this earlier. That's a big piece, a big chunk of it. Oh, man, now I wish I had another beacon. 
Where is the beaconette? Okay, I'm 8.30. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm going to... Oh, I wish I had that other beacon. I, I mean, another beacon. Okay, I'm going to end this episode right now. And then uh, see what I decide to do in the next one. Ciao.